A warm welcome to all our TVET lecturers. I'm Prashant Ramdas from Macmillan. I'm going to introduce you to all the curriculum updates for Power Machines N6. The previous curriculum dates back to 1986. It has now been updated to cover systems and components which are used in the mechanical and electrical industry today. The implementation date of the new curriculum is January 2025. You will need the latest textbooks to make sure you are covering the correct content and preparing students for the new exam they will write. Later in this video, I will explain how our new TVET First Students Book, Lecturer's Guide and Workbook will help you to implement the revised curriculum easily. The books are approved by the Department of Higher Education and Training so you can be confident that they cover all the curriculum requirements in full. The logo, Revised Curriculum 2025, tells you that these are the correct additions. But first, let's look at the curriculum itself. What are the most important changes in the new curriculum? The old syllabus was divided into seven modules. You can see the table on your screen now. The new syllabus is arranged into six modules. You can see them in the table on your screen now. Two new sections have been added to this syllabus. Module 4 now includes nuclear power plants and Module 6 covers renewable energy systems. The old Module 2, Steam Generation, is now covered in Module 4, Steam Generation and Nuclear Power Plant in much more detail. The new Module 6, Renewable Energy Systems, is an entirely new topic in the Power Machine syllabus and covers wind power generation and hydroelectric power generation. What has been removed from the curriculum? The older Module 1, Thermodynamics, and Module 7, Refrigeration, are not covered in the new N6 syllabus. Thermodynamics is covered in N5, but Refrigeration is no longer anywhere in the subject. What is the weighting of the six modules? The old curriculum did not give an indication of weighting. You can see the new weighting on your screen now. Tell me more about the modules in the new 2025 syllabus. Module 1, Internal Combustion Engines, uses examples to demonstrate the practical application of theoretical knowledge. Module 2, titled Air Compressors, again makes use of detailed examples to explain new concepts. These are followed by activities for the students to consolidate their learning. Students gain an understanding of working conditions of multi-stage reciprocating air compressors. Module 3 is called Nozzles. On completing this module, students will understand the shape of the nozzle and be able to analyze data accordingly. The learning outcomes are explored under the headings gas nozzles and steam nozzles and are specified in much greater detail than in the previous curriculum. Module 4 is called Steam Generation and Nuclear Power Plant. This module gives students an in-depth understanding of steam generation in a power plant. Students must be able to apply relevant formulae to calculate power and thermal efficiency according to the ideal Rankine cycle and the actual Rankine cycle. Module 5 tackles steam turbines. Students must be able to apply and illustrate the operating principles of a multi-stage steam turbine and perform all relevant calculations for the construction of the velocity diagram. This includes angles, velocities and power. Module 6 covers renewable energy systems. This module provides students with both theoretical and practical knowledge of electricity generation using renewable energy. It focuses on wind and hydroelectric power generation, teaching students key concepts such as wind speed, turbine arrangement and Betts law. Students will also learn to calculate power and efficiency for wind turbines and hydroelectric systems as well as illustrate power plants using schematic diagrams. What can we expect in the exams? The Power Machines N6 exam will be a three-hour paper counting 100 marks. It is a closed book exam, but a formula sheet will be attached to the question paper. Scientific calculators are allowed, 
but no programmable calculators, reference works, or any previous exam papers or their memorandums. How will the TBET First Students Book help students to succeed? The Students Book offers everything students need to succeed. Clearly labeled diagrams make it easy to identify the components and specifications of different electrical circuits and characteristic curves. Fully worked examples help students master the problem solving process step by step. The calculations show all steps so that students can follow the reasoning and maths. Detailed tables compare advantages and disadvantages, formulas, differences and relationships between different circuits and systems. Clear explanations help students to understand the content and correct misconceptions they may have. Language support and definitions help students to grasp new concepts and terminology. Did you know boxes add interesting information to broaden the student's understanding of the subject? What about features that support exam success? Three important features in the student's book are targeted at ensuring exam success. Number one, there are plenty of varied activities that make sure students get lots of practice answering questions that are similar to exam questions. This helps them to prepare for tests, assignments and internal and final examinations. Number two, there are summaries at the end of every module which students can use to revise their work. Number three, the book includes lots of summative assessments that test exam readiness. Do I need a new lecturer's guide? The completely new lecturer's guide is a crucial part of your daily teaching. It includes the complete answers to all the activities and assessments in the student's book. It also has a full memorandum to the practice exam paper in the student's book. The lecturer's guide offers a 10-week teaching plan with teaching ideas and suggestions and a photocopyable lesson plan template. Does Power Machines have a workbook? The TVET First series includes a handy workbook which is useful for both students and lecturers. The workbook provides a space for students to engage deeply with the activities. It also keeps all students' answers to the activities and summative assessments together and neatly organized. The Power Machines workbook includes a formula sheet that students can use when answering the questions. The workbook also has extra support such as diagrams and information to assist students to complete the activities. TVET First textbooks are approved by the DHET and trusted by lecturers. For the best results, trust TVET First. Thank you.